now let's take a look for a walk around of the new Prodoa Myvi 1.3 Premium X. Let's go. As you can see over here, like I said, I told you before, it looks nothing like the old model. I didn't lie. Check it out. This car is very, very high specs. As you can see, all model from the base model to the top model gets full LED headlamps. It's reflector headlamps. It gets a full chrome grill down here and fog lamps with a chrome trim over there. Further up, you'll see a full aero blade wipers that's new for Brodua and on the side you get 14 inch wheels as you can see down there also a new design for Brodua and on the side here you get a dual VVTi logo it's only on the left side it's not it's not on the right side and then the you've, you get 10 signals on your wing mirrors as well let's go to the back this is perhaps the bigger change for the Myvi. Myvis have always had vertical tail lamps, but now they've done it um, horizontally instead. And it's still LED for both your night light and your brake lights. What do you think of the looks? I think it looks really good. And the boot, check it out. 277 litres of space. That's 69 litres bigger than the old car. And this means, crucially, that you can now slot your luggage bags lengthwise instead of just vertical-wise. And if you look at the spare tyre, check it out, full-size spare tyre, not a space saver. And even by having a full-size spare tyre, they still have a big 277 litres of space. Prodo says if you fold down the rear seat, you can now get over 800 litres of space. On a small car such as this, that's pretty impressive. Now, let's go check out the interior. There's someone there at the moment, so you can just zoom in, take a look at the dashboard. Like I said, this is the 1.3 litre premium X version, so it gets leather steering wheel with audio controls and Bluetooth controls. The seat is a very high quality fabric. And if you look at the head unit, this is a doubled-in radio with USB and Bluetooth. Go for the down, you will see the aircon controls. This is uh, the first digital aircon controls for Produa. And unique for this car, there are two memory buttons, memory one and memory two. So let's say you can set one for very hot days, that's maximum fan, lowest uh, temperature, or you can have a memory preset two for colder at night maybe, where the fan is lower and perhaps it's not full maximum cold. As I step in inside, this is a very big change for Porodua. For once, they've changed the, the dashboard design to be a little bit more focused towards the driver. There's a lot of premium touches, a lot of chrome, a lot of piano black, and the leather used on the steering wheel is also improved compared to the older models. There's also a um, push start, keyless push start button. This is standard across the entire range, whether you're buying the 1.3 basic, uh, the 1.3 standard G, or the top spec 1.5. So it's a very generous list of, of kit. Down here you'll see a button for electronic stability control. This feature, this safety feature is now standard across the entire range. And on the left here, this is an eco idle function. This improves your fuel consumption by over one kilometer per liter. And the all new Myvi, the entire range has a fuel consumption that is better, that is more than 20 kilometers per liter that is over 30% better than the previous generation Myvi. So yeah, like I said, it's all pretty impressive indeed. So I'll move the front seat to somewhere to where I would normally sit, like that. And now let's check out the interior, shall we? The car has grown slightly bigger compared to the old model Myvi. So this is about 20, uh, 200 millimeters longer than before and even the wheelbase is longer by around 60 millimeters so as you can see my V's have always been known to be very practical very spacious inside and the new one is even more so legroom is not a problem 
whether you're tall, whether you're short, you are going to be able to fit in here. Leg room is, the headroom is also very, very good. Despite the fact that this car is now 30 millimeters lower to the ground, the roof is slightly lower to get that full aerodynamic look. But headroom, it's not a problem. Safety adding on to the standard electronic stability control for the 1.3 MyV, airbag count is also up from 2 to 4 for 1.3. So yeah, as you can see, like I said, it's a very big improvement for the entire range, whether you're buying 1.3 Standard G or 1.3 Premium X. Now, let's take a look at the 1.5 litre high version. And now I'll pass you along to my colleague, Hafiz. Take it away, Hafiz. Hi, okay. Sekarang di atas variant 1.3 Premium X itu ada variant ini, itu 1.5 H high. Uh, dan ia datang dengan enjin 1.5 liter dual VVTi yang menjanakan kuasa sebanyak uh, 102 HP dan 136 newton meter torque dan um, transmisi pula menggunakan automatik empat kelajuan dan lebih menarik enjin ini uh, varian ini mampu mencapai bacaan penggunaan minyak 20 km per liter dan di bahagian sisi rim yang digunakan ialah 15 inci dua tona dengan body kit penuh termasuk spoiler di atas. Dan satu yang unik daripada varian ini adalah di dalamnya iaitu unit uh, pembaca uh, toll reader yang terletak di bawah ni, terletak di bawah ini dan transmitternya di atas dan ini lebih kurang macam smart tag anda tapi dah di built in siap-siap dalam kereta ini dan jika baki kad kurang dari RM10 dia akan bagi alam untuk anda tahu dan boleh top up kad seterusnya. Dan satu lagi yang paling utama juga itulah dari ciri keselamatannya. Uh, Varian ini datang dengan enam beg udara. Enam ya, beg udara. Kita kembali pada Hafiz. Alright, now let's talk colours. There are six colour options to choose from. But there are only five for 1.3 models. There's another five for 1.5 litre models. This one over here, this is the brand new granite grey colour. This is exclusive to the 1.5 litre models. But over there, as you can see over there at the end, that is peppermint, that is peppermint grey. That is exclusive to the 1.3 litre models also. The rest of the range gets the standard colours by Prodo. That's here, lava red. There's also solid white. There's also uh, glittering silver and purple. Now, this is the pride and joy of Prodo. This is the top spec range topping my V1.5 Advance. It looks the same as the 1.5 litre. Let's give way, let's make way. It looks the same as the 1.5 litre high, but it does add quite a few functions, if you can see over here. At the top of the windscreen, there are two cameras. There are stereo cameras over there. This makes part of the advanced safety system on this new MyV that is standard on the 1.5 Advance. This adds on a few things. Number one, there's pre-collision warning. If the car thinks you're going to come into an accident, there'll be a buzz inside the car asking you to please brake, please avoid the collision. If you are, I mean, perhaps you're not paying attention and you don't do anything, then, then comes the second function, the pre-collision braking. This is a form of low-speed autonomous emergency braking whereby if the car thinks you're coming to a crash and you're not doing anything, you're not reacting to that, you're not braking, the car will brake itself. This works between the speeds of 4 km per hour to 30 km per hour. So this will reduce the, the frequency of low-speed accidents. And I'll just talk about the while well, wait, well, wait, wait for the one people inside the car. We'll just talk about aesthetics again. LED reflector headlamps, fork lamps with chrome trim, 15 inch dual tone alloys on the side, with ventilated disc up front, drums in the back, wing mirrors with side repeaters, chromed door handles with a keyless entry button. Like I said, keyless entry and start is standard across the entire range. And let's check out the interior. First of all, look at the seats. It's now leather. The Advance adds on leather seats. 
and it's not just that if you look closely there are contrast stitching here white and red it really pops out with the full black interior and if you look at the center the head unit is a touchscreen system this system also adds on a reverse camera satellite navigation and a smart link function for your smartphone so you can hook up your android smartphone and mirror what you see on your phone on the screen here so you don't have you need to have a cradle for your phone on on the dashboard you don't need to um, well if it's very dangerous you don't need to hold your phone to check out the map you can just uh, put on ways on your phone mirror it on the main screen then you're good to go and then what else do we have? Check it out here. Check out here. Electronic stability control, standard across the entire range, remember. Eco idle. This means that even this, this is a 1.5 litre engine with a lot of power. This car is actually quite light. Uh, the base model starts from under one tonne. It's, it's less than one tonne, so it's amazingly light. But uh, with the new engine, dual VVTI technology, making it making more power, making it more economical as well, you now get over 20 kilometers per litre, whether you buy the 1.3 manual or 1.5 litre automatic. As my colleague would have shown you, there's an electronic toll reader. You, slot, you just slot in your smart tag inside there, and you no longer have to reach around for your smart tag wherever you pass through tolls. And it's quite clever as well. There's a screen there that shows you your balance. If your balance drops below 10 ringgit, there'll be a sound to tell you to please reload your card. You don't want to get stuck in tolls. <laughs> and the cover here is, is magnetic. So yeah, it feels pretty good. The transmitter is on top here. If you go on through the front screen, you'll see that this is the smart tech transceiver. It's all very nicely integrated into the design of the car. You don't see a, a, a separate item being stuck on the screen or something like that. Speaking of the screen, this screen is now an, an acoustic windscreen, standard across the range. This reduces the, the wind noise for better NVH across the board, standard across all models again. Let's go to the back. I'm going to show you the legroom again because everybody loves a big car, especially if it's small on the outside, big on the inside. Yeah, now I've got the seats pushed quite far back. But yeah, still got loads of leg room, lots of headroom. And this is, is what my colleague mentioned before. Tetare hooks on both seats. There's one here, there's another one there on the left. So if you go to the shops, you bunker some items, tap out some, some food, some uh, ikat tepi tetare, you can just hook it up there. On the left here, this is a special anti snatch bag hook, handbag hook, designed specifically for Malaysian market. So if you're a lady with a handbag, you can just lock up your handbag inside here. So yeah, it will deter any form of snatch thefts. All right, Mr. Cameraman, can you swing over to the other side? Yep, sorry about that. This is also a new feature for the Myvi. This is a USB charger. As you can see over there, it's a USB port. And this is a, a 5 volt and 2 amps, so it can charge your phones fairly quickly. And um, when you charge your phone, there's also a convenient pocket here where you can just slot in your phone. Down there, you get another two more cup holders. All right. There's two more things that I need to talk to you about. Two more items, both part of the ASA Advanced Safety Assist functions. I've told you about the pre-collision warning, pre-collision braking, there are two other um, features. Number one is front departure warning. Front departure warning is, um, let's say you're stuck in a, in a, in a traffic light. And um, what do most Malaysians do? This is bad, obviously you're not supposed to do it, but most people do do this. You stop at a traffic light, you take out your phone. You know, yes, it's bad, that's, neg that's a negative point, but most people do it, that is the fact of life. And once you're on your phone, you are quite likely to, say, miss the fact that the car in front of you has moved off. So, if you're in a new MyV Advance, however, the car will detect that you are stopped at a traffic light with the car in front, 
and if the car in front moves forward and there's a certain threshold where if it thinks you're not reacting to that car moving fast enough, it, there will be a buzzer to tell you, excuse me, get off your phone, the car in front has moved, so you should move as well. The next feature is something that is also quite unique. It's called miss, uh, pedal miss operation control. Let's say you are parked facing a wall and you park, it overnight, you park it overnight, you come back the next morning and instead of selecting reverse to reverse out of the parking lot, you maybe you miss select um, drive instead of reverse. If you do that in a normal car and then you press accelerator, the car is just going to jump forward and hit the wall with mega damage. You're going to pay a lot of money for your small mistake. With this car, however, the cameras will detect that there is a wall in front of you and you have selected the wrong gear. You selected D instead of R. And even if you do if you select D, press accelerator, the car will not move. It is that smart. And all that works with the stereo camera as I mentioned ahead. All right, so, and if you're, say, for whatever reason, you don't think the car is bling enough, is, is, is bright enough, you can add on all these chrome extras from the Gear Up accessories catalog, as you can see over there, it's chrome bits here, chrome bits at the bottom, there's an extra rear skirting for the rear bumper as well. And on the side, at the bottom, there's more chrome. Move further up. There's more chrome on the window line as well. This is all part of the gear up. I'm not finished yet. There's a lot more to go with this car. In front, on the side mirrors, there's more chrome, as you can see over there. This, by the way, is the one of the chief engineers for the Prodome Ivy. Let's swing over this way. There you go. Part of the gear up accessory pack accessories um, catalog. There's more chrome bits here. And there's more down there as well. You can buy this as part of a package where you get the full beans or you can also pick and choose what you want. So if you think maybe one of the say 10 chrome items is not up to your fancy, you can delete that option and just get the rest instead. Inside, let's take a look. The 1.5 and the 1.2 liter, the 1.3 liter and 1.5 high versions do not come with leather seats. It comes with fabric. It's high quality fabric, but it's still fabric nonetheless. So if you get, if you prefer to have leather upholstery instead, you can also get the gear up leather seat covers. And that's not new for Prodo. That's been around for a while. But for this time around, if you look closer, there are suede inserts within the front seats. Very premium. And if you look down there, coil mats to replace the standard carpets. Instead of going to an aftermarket shop, you can just get it together at your Perdua dealership. Down here, chrome plates. So there you go. That's about it for the gear up accessories package. All right, we are just about done with the live walk around of this new Myvi model. There you have it, our live coverage of the new Prodoa Myvi. The car has now been launched and it's in all Prodoa showrooms nationwide. And you can go to your favorite, your nearest Prodoa showroom today. So we hope you've enjoyed our coverage of this car. We do like the way it looks. I hope you do too. So thank you for watching. And um, yeah, if you like it, maybe you should book one.